Okay, hello, this is Steve Proud. This is Festo product that we're talking about today or that I'm talking about. Uh, today I'm talking about a VTUG valve bank, which is uh, fitted with a IO link uh, top hat. The layout will be as follows. We've got a Rockwell PLC. Control logics, it could be any PLC, uh, preferably, you know, version 20 up. The uh, the version 20 itself seems to have some, or some minor difficulties using the uh, interface. I'm assuming the newer versions don't have that problem. I'm using a 1734 ENTR.io module and a IOLink master on that for IOL. I'm talking to a VTUG Festo valve bank. What I've done in the project is I have added the point IO module. It's very generic. You know, you simply go through here, new module. And you would pick the correct module. I'm not gonna do that right this second. And it's important to note that it has to be Series B. The Series B is what works with the new IOLink Master. Same, same concept for adding the module. You're going to add the new module for the FAR for IOL. Um, Yeah, this would have to be not there in order to do that. So I'll just delete that and then I'll add it in again. For IOL. Okay. These are the defaults here. You can reduce this to whatever is acceptable to this module. I think probably 10 milliseconds is all right. Unicast selected, all zeros, leave everything there alone. Now in this case, I'm gonna connect a device to channel one. First, we have to register the IODD file. You get a pop-up like this, click on this. Get another pop up. Finally, get the final pop up, and you'll go through and you'll pick your um, your IODD file. The Festo VTUG valve bank IODD files are available at our Festo support slash downloads website. Just you know, type in VTUG for the search engine, and you will find it under software. Uh, I'm going to click on OK. The 24 is not what we're using. We're actually using an eight, but I've already registered an eight and a 16 for previous videos. So I'm just gonna register this one for the heck of it. And give it a second. And it just put these in there. So now it's gonna refresh this over here. Over here. So again, I'm not using, I registered this one, but I'm not gonna use this one. I'm using the eight today because my top hat is a eight. Um, the VAEM-L1S-8 is written right on the side of my modular. So I'm gonna say create, and that's all we need to do at this point. Hit okay. It has configured it. Um, I'm trying to keep my screen small because of the better resolution in YouTube, so I'm gonna hit okay. So now, the controller tags exist. The point IO right here is where your data will reside. So 
So valve one, coil 14 is the first one, first bit, and then it will be contiguously set from there. I have added a simple little routine to impact on these, just for the sake of having some status here. All right, so on top of the outputs, we have the status of our channel one, these, these bits right here. And then we've got channel one diagnostics events. Okay, so I've added you know, some flashers and some bits to turn things on and off. And I've added some simple diagnostics. The Download. See if I get this without any errors. <clears throat> okay, so we're online now. We actually have a channel fault. So we have a cable error, because we're actually disconnected right now. I'm walking over. Plugged in the valve. Cable error is gone. If I disconnect the low voltage, I'll get this fault here. Um, basically, the outputs are on right now. Just cycling through the flasher here, you can hear it going. And that took all of seven minutes to get a VTUG Festival valve bank with IOLink top hat VAEM L1 S 8 uh, functional and up and running with a Rockwell PLC using a IOLink master on a point IO lock. Thank you and have a nice day, Steve.